Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add location images to your Total Connect 2.0 account. So today I'm actually going to be using uh, my iPad here and I'm going to show you guys how to do it through a web browser or using the Total Connect 2.0 account. First I'm going to start off with the web browser, all right? So let me go ahead and get let me get my iPad situated here. All right. So I have my iPad open. First thing I'm going to do is open up a Safari page. Now, let's say I start fresh. So I'm going to open up a new browser. I'm going to enter in the website. The website name for Total Connect 2.0 is totalconnect2.com. So you enter in Total Connect. And if it already populates in your browser, you can just go ahead and click it. I'm just going to go ahead and type it all out totalconnect2.com and then you hit enter and you go. You enter in your username and your password. My password, you guys can't see. Hit sign in once you got both fields filled out and it's gonna take you to your main page. Now this Total Connect account that I signed into has two locations. If you look up at the very top, You'll see it has my Office Vista 15P, and then it also has my 21 IP. Now, adding location images, especially if you have multiple locations, is very helpful when you're looking through a whole list. Right now, I only have two. Imagine if you have six, seven, more than five. You're going through a whole list, and if it's just text, it might be a little hard to distinguish which one you want to use. So if you add images to them, it'll make your life a lot easier, especially for the app. One thing about the website is when you add the location images and you open up your location list, you'll see it doesn't actually show the images. In a second, when I show you guys on the app, you're going to see what I mean. So right now, uh, you see that I have Office Vista 15P up at the top and a Vista 21 IP. I have selected my Office Vista 15P. What you're going to go ahead and do is on the bottom so in order to change the image for the uh, Office Vista 15P location, on the left-hand side, there's a gray bar. On that gray bar, you're going to see a little, high, a little house icon. It's usually right underneath the person. And if you click it, it'll say locations. So I'm going to click that one more time. And then you see your multiple locations. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the little, exp the little down arrow to expand it. So I'm going to do the Office Vista 15P first. I hit the down arrow key and I'm going to hit edit. Once I go to edit, it's going to take you to my edit screen, which is where I can change the profile picture, or I'm sorry, not the profile picture, the location picture. Now, that's actually a big confusion uh, whenever you're switching the images or changing out images or anything like that or adding images. Uh, the location image and the profile image are two complete different images. Profile image is for the actual user right it's your profile you're the user the location image is for the actual location so right now I'm changing the location image there's four different formats you can use JPEG uh, JPG JPEG PNG and GIF GIF all right so you can use those four different formats the file size does need to be um, maximum 10 megabytes all right that's the max you can go if you go higher than that total connect will not accept it so Right now, you see I already have one on my Office Vista 15P. If you guys don't have one, it would just be a blink. So if you guys want to add one, just hit on the picture. It'll say change. It's then, if you're doing this through a browser, like on a computer, it'll say drag photo or select the photo. Since I'm doing this on my iPad, it only offers me the option to select photo. And then from there, um, Again, if you're doing it through a computer, you can usually browse through your folders. On my iPad here, you can actually take a live photo. So I can take a photo. It's going to ask you for access to the camera. Um, you can go to your photo library. It's also probably going to ask you for permissions to, to look at your camera roll. So after there, you can go ahead and um, select the location image. So for instance, if I wanted to select a alarm grid here, then it gives you an option to crop. So you can use the little um, the little dark gray square with the two arrows going in opposite directions to crop the picture to where you want it. 
and then you select the middle to move the circle around to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it right there in the center. I'll hit OK. And then once you're done, you got the image you want, you just make sure you hit save in the bottom right. And that's going to save your work. If you don't save it, then you'll never know. Or um, then, it, then it'll never complete the change. All right. So now that we have the Office Vista 15P um, image, we can also go back into locations. We can change the Vista 21 IP image. So again, I'll go to Vista 21 IP. I'll hit that drop down. I'll hit edit. I'll just do sync manually. It gives you some pop-up errors. And you'll see for the Vista 21 IP, I actually had the same image as, as the Vista 15P. So again, to distinguish them, I'm just going to change them. Um, I'll go to my photo library. I'll go to my camera roll. And I'll just use the siren for this one. Now, this is a GIF. But as you see, the GIF may be moving in here. But it will not actually have the moving picture so you actually hold the you actually hold it down and the gif will play and then once you release there it'll stop on that image so for instance if i want to stop there i'll just release i'll hit okay and that'll save the vista 21 ip as that image and again you want to make sure you hit save in the bottom right to save all your work now this is on the web browser i'm going to go ahead and exit the web browser now and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the app. So the app for you guys may have different a different format. As you saw when I opened mine, it automatically went into a side view. That's because I am on a tablet. If you guys are using your phone, you'll probably have the um, the longer view. So instead of it being, um, I think in, instead of it being landscape, it'll actually be portrait. All right. So I have the kind of longer view. It kind of uh, flip to the side on me and as you see there automatically if I look on the bottom left um, you'll see multiple locations right so I have my Vista 21 IP which is the image I change it to and then the office Vista 15 P if you guys have multiple locations it makes it that much easier now to change the location image in the total connect app you have to go um, on my iPad it gives you the menu on the bottom. If you're using your phone app, it actually, you'll probably have a hamburger sign in the top left, which that's your menu button. So you have to click the menu button. And then once you click the menu button, you should have the same menu bar that you're seeing um, on the bottom of my tablet here. And you go to my location. Once you're in my location, it brings you to the, uh, whatever location you're on, it'll bring you to that edit page. And then again, same concept. You click on the picture, you, you hit change, you select the photo, you go to your library, or you can take a photo if you want. You click a picture in your camera roll. Um, I'm just going to select the same one so you guys can see. And again, crop it to wherever you want. Hit OK. And then hit Save. Once it's done saving, you can go in and go to your other location the Vista 21 IP, you could again do the same steps, my location, change the picture, and uh, that is pretty much a quick review on how to change the location images using the, the uh, web browser and using the app. Um, again, as you saw on the app on my tablet, it's a little bit different on your phone, but it's still the same steps. You have to open up the menu, go to my location, click on your image, and then select from your camera roll, crop it, save it. All right. If you guys have any questions about uh, how to crop the images or how to add the images, feel free to email us. Our email is support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new videos, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.